I don't mean to alarm you, but I do believe we finally have the ultimate setup. As long as I don't move. Don't move. Don't ruin this for me, Fuji Ibis. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we are on the Fuji X-T4 with the Samyang 12mm Tony 2. Manual focus lens, there's a 14% chance I got it. We got it right here. There was peaking, I double tapped. The thing I've noticed, when you manual focus on a regular Fuji lens, it zooms in for you. It's like, oh, it recognizes. There's no electronic contacts on this piece of trash meat. But still, you double tap on the screen, you get your enlargement. That's what she said. Not to me. Is there Tony? Oh, there's bound to be. There is bound to be. We're Tony too. Okay, let's just do it. Face the fears. Walk. There better not be warpy stuff. I don't walk like this. If I was... Oh, God. What if we do this? Is it bad? There's no digital on. We'll test it. I'm afraid. Just be... It's kind of heavy to be the perfect setup here. A little heavy on that lens. I thought it was gonna be light as shit. It's manual focus. Where's the weight coming from, you cake-eating asshole? It's so hot too, I'm trying not to get any more sun. Me and my girlfriend just went down to the beach, got a bunch of slow motion footage of all the creatures. There was a swan. I might make a music video on my other channel, so stay tuned for that. You're not gonna stay tuned. You're going over there just to unsubscribe. Come on. So first question, am I in focus? Did I do it? I see peaking. It's possible that I did it. Second question, how's the... I have no second question. If this stabilization is behaving, which there's no reason it should, usually there's a setting, you change it to, okay, 12 mil IBIS, pretend this is a 12 mil lens, and then there's no setting in the Fuji system to do that. In Panasonic Olympus, you can set it for the manual focus third-party lenses, but I have no idea what it even thinks, or does it just know? The potentially cool thing, I can remember that this is at, the one is almost lined up with the thing, so we could theoretically bring it on in here, focus like this for maximum tone in the dramatic scenes, if there was a boardroom meeting about this. Oh, hey, Greg. Didn't think I'd see you in this neighborhood again. Look, I'm sorry. I, it was a long time ago. I've grown up since then. I can change. I have. It was just such a weird thing. Like, why would you do that? Who would do something like you did back then? I wasn't thinking straight. I hadn't eaten. I was drunk, hadn't eaten, and I fell earlier in the day, lost blood. But what would you have done in that situation? Why are you so judgmental? Just let me live. I forgive you. I know what it's like. I have a diabetic grandfather. If he doesn't eat, he smacks you hard with his cane. I know where you've been. You can change. You have changed. Welcome back to the neighborhood. And then I should theoretically be able to go right back there and we're in focus. The one lined up with the thing just slightly off center. You couldn't line it straight up there, could you? Oh, you donkey arm bitch. Now I have a theory when it comes to this warpy stuff and the wide angle lenses, before we test digital, I wanna test something here because when I made that A7S III video on the Olympus with the Laowa 7.5 mil, I was trying to find the fine tune setting and it didn't work, none of it did. Point is, as the truck, uh, point is, yes, there was some warpy stuff, but it got much worse when I sat down, what's biting me, for the, Oh, the singing guy's back. Oh, he follows me everywhere I go. It got much worse when I zoomed in for the boardroom meeting. I have a theory that closest focusing distance warps more, and then the further you can get it away would warp less. So you might need a 15 foot pole. Let's test it. Okay, so here's very close focusing for the personal vlogs. 
it should be warping worse than it was before. This test will prove nothing immediately. I already know it. Is it warping? And then we'll extend it. Okay, now we're focused way on that background, but as an experiment on purpose to see if the warpy stuff went away for some reason. And then if this did work, I would have to really extend it out there. Am I at all in focus? We're not. There's no reason why I would be. It works. If this is working though, and say I lock the exposure, all of Fuji's problems just disappeared. We got manual focus, exposure lock. It looks a little bright. There's a lot of zebras everywhere. I should have locked it at a much better setting. If you want to make a little video like this, just kneeling on your sidewalk, obstructing everybody's path, you could. You know that 14 mil Tony 2.8? It was a terrible lens for that last vlog test I did, the allure of Fuji, it was bad. There's no allure. But when I, at the end of the video, when I just did this kind of situation, I was like, oh, that is a sweet lens. But this would be better in every way, right? All right, I want to try something. Before we get into the digital stable, I should have done that the whole, it's probably way better and I've ruined all our lives. Let's stop it down. That's a click, that's two clicks. Tony 2.8 for GoPro like abilities. I sold my GoPro by the way. I ain't, I ain't putting up with company's guff. It's just like, oh, sometimes it works. Sorry, 90% reliability with those files. It's like, no thank you. It works without the GoPro media mod, but without that, like that's the whole point you get the GoPro 8 for. Right? What are we doing on that 2.8? Let's just stop it down like a pro. Four. See, that's bullshit. This is bullshit. Admit it. I want to see the background. There it is. All its glory. I found even that 10 to 24 at 24. It gave you a little bit of separation. Not enough. Let's return. Let's return to the promised land. Okay, let's try digital stabe. Okay, so now we have digital stabe on and we've cropped in a little bit, but that's still plenty wide. That's not bad. That's not bad. So is warping much worse or is it now fixed? I'm hoping it's the latter. I'm hoping I don't need it actually. Ideally, we wouldn't have that digital stabe. It's bullshit. It does introduce weird stuff, but for the most part, if you're not looking in the corners, a leaf touched my head then you're good. You're good. Oh, that guy. How? He was walking that way. He's a ghost. He's a ghost of Christmas spirits past. He passed me this way. How did he get ahead of me? And then he's a clone. They've cloned him. Oh, that's proof. That's proof. That's bullshit. Oh no, the autofocus must be hunting with the shadow. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. We fixed it. We fixed it. This is the lens on paper that should work. And if it doesn't, I leave the system. This is the lens that could save me. If not, we're selling, we're going for the R5. <laughs> no, we're not. The R6 or the A7S III. Those are the paths to choose. Which one will you choose? Which one will love you back? Neither. If I held it closer, there's potential for, uh, I can't tell if I'm in focus. Can we double tap? We can, while recording. Oh, we're double tap. I was in. I'm in. Let me just go out just for the hell of it. Right there. That's good. And then what? How do we get out? Half pressing that shutter ain't doing a damn thing. Double tap. Yeah, okay. So there we have that. If you want to get a little more tone, a little more personal, a little more distorted, your stupid long ass nose now ruining the shot. I'm seeing these steps. As I step, the camera does this. That's my fault. That's user error hard. I think this is the lens. <laughs> then I get back and see the footage and I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. Every time. It's like, you can't tell the wobbles here. But the magic is with us. We're in F-Log, by the way. The whole point was to lock exposure and then full manual like a filmmaker. Would at shutter 32,000, 3,200. That's my bad. It's close to what ideal. 
I need an ND filter. If this is the lens, it accepts them. Then I would buy an ND filter for this, a nice one, a nice dark one. And then we actually have, not this, friendly motion blur. Let's try it. Sunstar. Oh, it's like a four point Sunstar. Oh, wow. Oh, the match, oh, six point. Oh, that's the devil's point. Oh, the sun is burning my neck in a devil-like fashion. That's fantastic. Man, even at Tony 11, we're at a 1 50th of a shutter. Oh man, we really gotta go deep into that one. Is that 16? All right, if I lock the exposure now, 120? We're still not friendly motion blur. We gotta go all the way to 22. Unlock, relock, 120. That didn't change a damn thing. Is this good? Has diffraction kicked in? I don't mind that. Is it a lot softer now? I imagine there's a sweet spot, 5.6. I guess we could try that, but is a Tony 22 vlog something you would order on eBay? There, we're at 5.6, the landscape photographer's f-stop. Oh, look, the mountains and the river are both in focus. Now I'll go manipulate this image to look nothing like it used to. I'm a photographer. I've been getting a lot of comments lately about why I never show the product that I'm using. Usually I'm just, I'm so annoyed when people, they're just standing here with the product in their hand and I'm like, show what it does. I don't want to look at it. I can look at a much higher resolution photo online. So I usually never do it, but we will do it today, won't we? Oh, we will. Oh, little Fuji and the Samyang, together at last. Oh, they're so open in each other's arms. <laughs> I got the black one. I paid a good $40 more for the black one than the silver. I was like, I ain't having no silver thing on here. Here's what it would look like if you were a loser photographer about to take a picture. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's got the yeah, aperture, it's clicky. A clicky aperture thing. This is fantastic footage. The focus thing is a little, I don't love the feel of it. It's a little plasticky feeling. It's not premium. There it is, there it is. The Panasonic S1 is so hard to focus. Am I in? Right there? Do a little side-by-side -side test. What's, oh God, that's heavy. What's better? The Panasonic S1 with the Viltrox 20 mil Tony 2 versus the 12 mil Tony 2, but really it's a Tony 3 equivalent. Both in auto white balance. One, very stable, because it's light. Let's just go back out into the field. I really hope this lens works out. I don't really want to buy into the whole Canon system. Their lenses don't excite me that much. Maybe in the future when they release the 24 2.8, potentially. Sony, on the other hand, you might have something there, but color science, a little off, a little weird. Fuji, I can just trust you. So let me know how it's performing today. I love the manual focus. I like taking charge. It's so windy. Oh my God, what happened? And then if you lock exposure, you don't have that Fuji stepping autofocus and the dynamic range can't be beat almost on this camera. For an APS-C, might be leading the pack. Although I bet the, the Samsung NX1 beat it. There's nothing that camera can't beat. So let me know how the lens performed today. I feel it links down below, of course. Free laundry. It's not free. It's not free. I'm going to leave. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like the video. Nope. Not giving you the thumbs down option, that's on the other channel. It's the only reason you watch it. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Thanks for buying a camera conspiracy t-shirt. <laughs> Subscribe my video.